They are beginning to understand you right now. Despite all the triggers, despite everything that happened, you kept the faith. You believed in God. You kept it going. And it got to a point where no one could understand you. No one understood why you were standing strong and firm. You know, um, I've, I've met people who gave their hearts to Christ while they were maybe in a university away from home. And whenever they went back home, their parents would not understand them. They would ask them, why are you you're behaving weird? You're, the way you're behaving is not normal. What's going on with you? They get to a point where they are worried and they feel like you're getting frustrated. And maybe after school, you've not had something to do. And they are blaming it all on the fact that you gave your heart to Christ. They blame it all on the fact that you now know God. And they think your life is um, the way it is because of your belief. Um, and when I, when I think about this, I just remember Job. When Job went through all the persecutions he did, when he went through all the backlashes and when he lost everything, no one could understand him. I mean... His friends came and they started talking, is it because you sinned? What is wrong? They did not know what was happening to him. They could not understand why he was going through everything he was going through. But the good thing is, Job kept the faith. He did not give up. He held on, 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 he held on to God. Even when his wife told him to curse God and die, because his life was, 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 was got to a point where it got into a shamble. He refused to curse God. He told himself that God blesses and we should equally be able to accept losses even when we serve God. And congratulations. Things are about to change right now. Good job to you. Your testimony will be loud. Hallelujah. God bless you.